Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we will learn and solve exercise 9c questions 1 to 15 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio, Proportion and Unitary Method of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 9c questions 1 to 15 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio and Proportions. And topic is concept of proportion. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 2. Determine if the following ratios form a proportion. First bit is 80, 80 centimeter to 4 meter and 7 rupees to 35 rupees. First 80 centimeter ratio 80 centimeter to 4 meter. 80 centimeter divided by 4 meter. Here uh, in this ratio both uh, the antecedent is in centimeter unit and the consequent is in meter unit. So first we have to convert this meter into centimeter so that the antecedent and consequent both are of equal unit. And we know 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So 4 meter will be 400 centimeter. Now uh, between 80 and 400, 80 is the common ratio. So divide the antecedent 80 with 80, common ratio 80, and divide the consequent 400 with the common ratio 80. So 80 divided by 80 is 1, and 400 divided by 80 is 5. 1 is to 5. Now 7 rupees to 35 rupees. 7 rupees to 35 rupees. Both the antecedent and the consequent are of equal unit in, in rupees. And between 7 and 35, 7 is the common ratio. So divide the antecedent 7 with 7 and the consequent 35 rupees with 7. Now 7 divided by 7 is 1 and 35 divided by 7 is 5. 1 divided by 5 that is 1 is to 5. Now in in both the ratios we get 1 is to 5. Both are equal. So these ratios, these uh, two ratios form a proportion. Both the ratios are equal so they form a proportion. So these two ratio form a proportion. Now question number second B. 24 millimeter to 30 centimeter and 20 gram to 270 gram. Determine if these we have to verify these ratios form a proportion or not. So the ratio 24 millimeter to 30 centimeter. Here both the antecedent and the consequent are not of the equal unit. Antecedent is in millimeter and the consequent is in centimeter. First we have to convert this, this centimeter into millimeter so that the antecedent and the consequent both are of equal unit. Both will be the equal unit. So we know 20, 1 centimeter is 10 millimeter. Twenty four millimeter divided by we know one centimeter is ten millimeter, so thirty centimeter will be will be thirty multiplied with ten that is three hundred millimeter. Now between twenty four and three hundred six is the common ratio. Twenty four twelve. Twelve is the common ratio, so divide the antecedent twenty four with twelve. 
and the consequent 300 with 12. Now 24 divided by 2, 12 is 2 and 300 divided by 12 is 15. One, two, twelve, two are twenty-four, six, twelve, twenty-five. Now we get uh, two divided by twenty-five. That is two is to twenty-five. Now ratio twenty gram to two hundred seventy gram. Twenty gram to two hundred seventy gram. Between 20 and 270, 2 is the cancelling 0, 2 divided by 27, that is 2 is to 27. Now 2 is to 25 is not equal to 2 is to 27. Both the ratio, ratios are not equal, that is 2 is to 25 is not equal to 2 is to 27. Is not equal to 2 is to 27. So they don't form proper sign. No, these ratios does not form a proper sum. Now third bit, 800 milliliter is to 300 milliliter and 560 rupees is to 210 rupees. So the ratio 800 ml divided by 300 ml. Here both the, ratio, both the antecedent and the consequent are of the equal unit that is in ml. And between 800 and 300, cancelling 0, this 2 0, now we get 8 divided by 3, that is 8 is to 3. Now the ratio is 560 rupees is to 210 rupees, that is 560 rupees divided by 210 rupees. Now cancelling, both are of equal unit, that is in rupees. To cancel zeros, now 56 divided by 21. And between 56 and 21, 7 is the common ratio. Now divide the antecedent 56 with 7 and the consequent 21 with 7. Now 56 divided by 7 is 8 and the consequent 21 divided by 7 is 3. Now we got 8 divided by 3. That is 8 is to 3. Both the ratios are of equal that is 8 is to 3. So these ratios form a proportion. Both the ratios are equal. Yes, these ratios form a proportion. So these are given ratios 800 ml is to 300 ml and 560 rupees is to 210 rupees. These ratios form a proportion. Now fourth bit 450, milli, 450 meter is to 3, 3 kilometer and 75 centimeter to 7 meter. 
we have to check these ratios form a proportion or not 450 meter is to 3 kilometer that is 450 meter divided by 3 kilometer here the antecedent and the consequent are not of the equal unit in antecedent this is in meter unit and the consequent is of kilometer unit so first we have to convert this antecedent and the consequent both are of the equal unit that is we have to convert this kilometer into meter so that the antecedent and the consequent will be of the equal unit so we know 1 kilometer is 1000 meter so 3 kilometer will be 3000 meter now between 450 and 3000 0 cancel now 45 and 300 and between 45 and 315 is the common ratio Fifteen is the common ratio. Fifteen is the common ratio. So divide the antecedent forty-five with fifteen, and the consequent three hundred with fifteen. Now forty-five divided by fifteen is three, and three hundred divided by fifteen is twenty. Fifteen to the thirty, so fifteen to the thirty. So fifteen multiplied by twenty is three hundred. Now three is to twenty. Now seventy five centimeter to seven meter. Seventy five centimeter divided by seven meter. Both the antecedent and the consequent are not of the equal unit. Here the antecedent is in centimeter unit and the consequent is in meter unit. So we have to convert this meter into centimeter, so that the antecedent and the consequent will be of the equal unit. We know one meter is hundred centimeter, so seven meter will be seven hundred centimeter. Now between seventy five and seven hundred. Five is the common unit. So con um, divide the antecedent seventy five with five and the consequent seven hundred with five. Now seventy five divided by five is fifteen and seven hundred divided by five is one forty. Now between fifteen and one hundred forty-five is the common ratio. So divide fifteen and one hundred forty with five. Fifteen divided by five and one hundred forty divided by five. Five three is a fifteen. Fifteen divided by five is three and one hundred forty divided by five is three divided by twenty. One hundred forty divided by five is twenty. That is three is to twenty-eight. Three is to twenty is not equal to three is to twenty-eight. These ratios are not equal. Three is to twenty is not equal to three is to twenty-eight. 
so the ratio don't form a proper chain these two uh, two ratios that is 450 meter is to 3 kilometer and 75 centimeter to 7 meter don't form a proper chain subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i'll reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you if you like this video then please click the like button and share this if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel thank you